Hello and welcome to week five of LIBS 501. This week we'll be looking at the steps of evaluate and acknowledge. So for this week, for your to-do list, for required materials to look through, we have the week five instructor video, the writing perfect annotations for your annotative bibliography video, a formatting and annotated bibliography in APA 7th edition video, and some student examples of annotated bibliographies. For supplemental or non-required materials to look through, we have a What is an Annotated Bibliography article from UNSW Sydney, and our assignment this week is our Annotated Bibli Bibliography assignment. So for this week, we're looking at the topics of information literacy of Evaluate and Acknowledge again. So as a reminder, to evaluate is to critically examine the found information for credibility, reliability, and usability, and to acknowledge is to credit the original source of information. So our annotative bibliography. So what is an annotated bibliography? An annotation is an explanation added to a source that provides the reader with a summary and evaluation of the material. A bibliography is a list of materials and sources used and referred to during the research process. This includes all of your sources, whether or not they are going to be used in the final product. Now your annotated bibliography is just a list of all of the sources you've been looking at to use um, in your research paper, along with a brief summary and analysis of those sources. So one thing to note on an annotated bibliography is you might have sources in there that you won't use in your final essay. You might have found a source that you went, it just isn't gonna work, and that's fine to add into this assignment. So how to create an annotation. So there are three kind of steps when creating an annotation for an annotated bibliography. First, we summarize. So you're writing a general overview of the source and asking the question, what are the main points and the arguments being made? Next, we need to assess and evaluate. So you're looking at what you've read and you're determining the usefulness of the source to your own research. So asking how is this source compared with others and is this source reliable and unbiased? And finally, you're reflecting. So you're determining if and how that source fits into your research. So how does this shape your argument and how can you use this within your paper? Or how does this just kind of miss the mark and not be quite what you're looking for? And that is perfectly fine for this assignment. So here's an example of an annotation. At the top we see it always starts with our APA citation and then a short paragraph below. So breaking down this paragraph, so for the summary, it's this first chunk. So it's looking at the study is taking 300 participants. It's looking at what they were assigned, what was happening, what that source was about. For assessing is this kind of middle chunk. So it is looking at what that research was looking at. So the study looked at 300 participants and showed its significance through statistical tests and it provided those results. And finally, we're going to be reflecting. And that's that last little uh, sentence or so of the paragraph, which is, this study is a helpful introduction to yoga and anxiety, which is applicable to my paper. So it's looking at how is this going to work for my research, not necessarily is this research good or bad. So for our assignment for this week is our annotated bibliography. And you're going to be writing out that annotated bibliography consisting of five sources. All five sources must be from journal articles. So each annotation will include a citation in APA formatting, a description of the source, and a critical analysis of the usability of the source for kind of your final essay assignments in your outside course. Now, feel free to use the sources you evaluated last week in the discussion board. Um, kind of rework those little paragraphs you had put together to create a really nice annotation, but always make sure you're also commenting on how it's going to be connected to your work. Will it work? How will it work? Where will you put it in at? So for the assignment points breakdown, it's 50 points in total. So 10 points will go to the source quality and type of source. 15 points for the annotation quality in the source evaluation, and then 25 points for that citation and reference list formatting. Also, please note that a full rubric is listed both under the instructions document and within the assignments folder. So for this week, what I need you guys to be working through, for required materials, please watch the week five instructor video, 
watch the Smart Students YouTube videos of Write Perfect Annotations for your Annotative Bibliography and Format an Annotative Bibliography in APA 7th edition, as well as look through the student examples of annotated bibliographies. For supplemental materials, we have the article from UNSW Sydney, which is what is an annotated bibliography. It breaks it down really nicely for you guys to look through. For this week's assignment, we have our annotated bibliography, which is due on Thursday. Now, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Send me an email or set up a virtual or in-person one-on-one meeting. Um, the annotated bibliography can get very confusing, so please make sure you're reaching out with questions so I can help you guide through that. I hope you guys have a great week and I look forward to looking at your annotations.